Hi and welcome to this on shape tutorial. Today we're going to look at this third challenge in the rib series and we're going to have a go at creating this relatively complex looking design using a number of uh, rib features. Along the bottom of the document you have a number of different tabs. So the tab I'm on at the moment is this one here which has got a quick overview of the different activities or challenges and if you click on the YouTube icon or symbol that will link to the YouTube tutorial videos. And if you go along here this also gives you access to other resources and tutorials via different platforms. And also what we've got here is a incomplete part which we're going to apply the rib features and just at the end we've got a complete model which we can use as reference. So if we have a look at this complete model what we've got here is a number of different ribs. So the first rib as you can see references a sketch that's been applied or created on this top okay, surface here and then those uh, ribs okay, protrude okay, all the way down to the surface on the internal side okay, of this design. And you can create ribs okay, from any sketch entities. Also what we've got as well is a second rib which is at the bottom here and that's to show that you can actually control sort of the depth for the height of the rib and also if you see here this is sort of an indentation or cut the rib will not actually protrude from the other side of this design as well. So there's a number of different things we're going to have a look at. So if we go to the tutorial tab, and we have a spin around and have a look at this. So what I've done is I left the sketches in here, which you could turn on and off, and you can edit those sketches if you wish. I'm going to turn this rib one on first. And what we've got, if we click edit, okay, and uh, just zoom in on that, is we've got uh, a couple of sort of a horizontal and a vertical line here so a couple of straight lines here you will see that they don't okay stick to the edges of this design okay they are they've been dimensioned okay and uh, relationships have been ha added that's why you can see most of these are black however okay they have not been defined in terms of their length but I'll show you the way you can uh, get around that and also what we've got here is a curve, so a three point curve as well. It's not only just straight lines, you can use uh, this curve. And this sketch has been created okay, on that top okay, surface. So this is how you define okay, where the rib starts from and, and obviously the height okay, or the depth of that rib. So this has been okay, set on this surface here. If we went back and we changed okay the initial so if we go into here if we change this initial depth or dimension here then that will then affect okay the depth and the size of these ribs because it's referencing this surface you could okay draw if we have a look up here we could use um, say a top work plane and an offset work plane okay and then the sketch would be defined by that but you've got this sketch here now so what we're going to do is we're going to click on rib and we're going to select this sketch. Now you can either select these individually like so, like that, or what you can actually do is select it in here as well. So we've selected that in there. The part we're going to basically create a rib in is this one here. And then what we're also going to do is select this option and go normal. Okay. If you don't click normal, all right, then you will see an error appear there because what it's doing is I've created a sketch on this surface here and I want the ribs, okay, to be created underneath that which is normal to that sketch, okay? So it's parallel to that sketch or sketch plane. And if we have a look as well at the moment, what we've got is, if we zoom in on say this one here, we've got two and a half millimeters. So what that does is if I type in the size there and just confirm that, it splits that okay halfway across the sketches on here and on the opposite side with that curve. And again, if I change that, okay, it increases the size. That's two and a half millimeters either side of the sketch at the moment. So you could define the thickness there, which is quite simple. 
If you click uh, this option here, if we click F to fit, what you'll see is when we click extend, extend, okay, these ribs will extend, okay, all the way along, okay, to these outer walls of the design. So there you go, so you see that one. So turn that on, and if I turn it off, you can see what happens there. So what you don't have to do is fully sort of define the ed the ends of these sketches. So drag it up, okay, and add a relationship there, and drag that up, and drag this along here. Okay, we don't need to do that. If you're using a curve, okay, you, what you'll see here is it's come off tangent to that, okay, in that sort of angle there. If I wanted that to flow in a different shape, then what I'd have to do is extend that sketch or add to the sketch, okay, to control that further. But you can see there, it's uh, extended, okay, okay, uh, those shapes there. Another thing to see as well as when we're creating these ribs if we zoom in it's uh, extending that down and it also takes into consideration okay this uh, internal shape here so any radiuses okay and any internal features it will take those into account as well like so so that's how you create a basic rib so if you confirm that you'll see what we've created so again, the height and the depth of that is sort of controlled by where the sketch has been created. If you wanted to, okay, do a, a set of ribs, okay, that are, say, on this surface down here. So if I just turn off uh, that sketch, there we go. Say if I wanted to add a rib that starts on that surface and then goes to down to this surface, okay, it's important to create a sketch on that surface there. Or create a plane on that on that surface okay and what I can't do is create say the sketch up here and then create an offset okay that is not within the option so I've got to define where it's going to start so if you look at rib 2 that sketch that's what I've done and if we edit that sketch okay and we just spin that around what you'll see here is on that surface, okay, of that feature, I've selected a sketch and created one, and I've created again these lines here. And all I've done is created a, a offset or dimension from, okay, this plane. Let's have a look. If we just move that out of the way. Okay, this front work plane here, I've measured from there 27 millimeters, and then I've used that same, okay, front work plane to create a mirror. And if I change this, you can see all of those, okay, change. All right, so, and if I confirm that sketch, and then we could do the same thing as we've done before. But this, if you can see at that sort of angle there, okay, that sketch is floating at the moment on that surface. And if we go to rib and select these, again, you can select them individually, or you can go over and select a sketch there. We've got to choose the part, which is the part we want to actually create that. And as you can see, that at the moment is going parallel to my sketch. So it's going out sort of to the sides of this design. Okay, you might want that for some particular reason, depending on your design, okay? But we want to go normal too. So that will go down. We don't want to flip it in that direction. As it's shown you, it's going to come up with an error, so we want it to go down. And again, you can define Okay, the thickness of that. And if we have a look at this angle here, if we use this option of extend, okay, that will extend, okay, up to the next rib that we've created, either side, and you can see like that. And also what's quite clever is it will not, okay, protrude on the outside of this cut. It would take that into consideration, and sort of jump over that and go along to there, okay? You will see that because um, I had uh, a feature there, okay, it's gone along there and it's hit the feature and stopped. If I wanted okay, that to go past that point, I would have to say go in here okay, and I can drag that further along like that and update it. And then you'll see because that point's past that feature, okay, it will then jump over there and it will go up to that edge as well. Okay, so that's how you can adjust your sketch if you want, okay, the rib to pass through a feature. You've got to make sure your sketch, okay, goes past that point. 
And as you can see there, we've created a rib, okay, at a different sort of height or depth because we've created a sketch on there. If you've decided later that you would want to add extra entities or sketches, okay, to a feature, that is possible. So you don't have to add an extra rib, okay. You can go back and edit this. So if we go into this first one, say here, and click edit, and we add a another okay sketch, say down here, and I'm just going to define it, say from that point, like so. I can update that, and as you can see, it's then created that additional okay uh, rib inside there that's because what I did if you right click on here like so okay I selected the entire okay uh, sketch sometimes if you've gone through and you've selected those individually okay and then you add a sketch afterwards and your update feature it may not appear you may have to go back in and add that sketch back into okay the feature itself so it is important sometimes depending on okay how you've selected okay the entities to create ribs all right you may not see the feature appear okay afterwards you see as you can see there that's added an extra design on that and same again if you go back in and you've decided that you want to make a change and remove that you can select it, remove that, okay, and okay, the feature will update automatically. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.